I'm Justin Ware with First Name, co-founder and uh, chief consulting officer at First Name. We're very closely tied to BWF. So BWF is, you know, uh, essentially almost one and the same in the way that we work and in the way that the companies function. And student engagement team is a big part of our focus. We've been working on this concept for several years. Uh, more and more institutions are taking it on, are sort of reinventing annual giving. And one of the very first to do that was the UC San Diego annual giving team. So the idea was we, we had to go in and if we're not going to have a phone program, we have to have something that replaces those dollars. Donors, we also want to elevate other channels. Uh, we want to look at things like leadership annual giving, direct mail. And the student engagement team, of course, was a part of that overall equation leading to the giving day. And the giving day went extraordinarily well. I mean, if you look at the numbers, uh, absolutely, by many factors of X, you know, uh, the biggest giving day uh, in UC San Diego's history. The one thing that we like to look at, and one of the reasons why we encourage everybody to number one, think about journey-based donor engagement, uh, you know, to number two, think about video, and to number three, thinking about, think about really positioning students in those videos. So we're looking at the SET content, and, you know, this is, this is the number of one minute plus video views, which is pretty much a complete video view. Most of these are about 60 seconds, right? So looking at the one minute plus video views, we had the student engagement team concept generated almost 3000 of those really impactful engagements. When you look at other video content, there was only 54, uh, 54 views of one minute or longer. And that really is pretty significant. It really helps, you know, helps again, are they clicking give now through that through that particular video? Not necessarily. Uh, in some cases, you know, you can track that activity towards the actual giving day, but they're really paying attention to that authentic, sincere, student-generated content. That's what really captures people's attention, you know, as is evidenced here. And, and the reason why this stat's so important is because of this that we've been tracking for a long time. 57% of everybody who watches the nonprofit's video to completion will go on to make a gift to that nonprofit. So any way that we can capture people's attention, get them to actually watch through to the end of the video is a very, very valuable exercise. This is the trend, we're seeing it. Uh, lots of institutions are replacing phone programs with student engagement team programs. And I know a lot of you probably have questions, so I'm going to introduce our panel here today and we'll get right into those questions. So we're joined by Cheryl Har Harrelson, Associate Vice Chancellor, Alumni Career and Annual Giving, Taria Irwin, Executive Director of Annual Giving, and Sean Harding digital engagement and social fundraiser and annual giving. Everyone, of course, played a role in the UCARE success. And I'm thrilled to be able to introduce this team today. When I brought this to the chancellor's attention, whom I actually report to, um, he, he was all in, um, you know, because it was going to save us dollars, but he loved the idea of using the students. Um, to be able to tell the story. So working with top leadership of the university was an easy sell. The timing was really just right for us. Uh, Cheryl had already indicated that, you know, our numbers were dropping uh, related to the call uh, program, and we needed to find a way to, to redeem those, those numbers. We did not want the students to have that formal look, feel of institution. We wanted it to be something organic, something grassroots, something that a student would say, a look that the student would have. I mean, not in, not in shirt and tie, but they're wearing UC San Diego gear and they look like they were either going to class or coming from class. So that, that was another uh, challenge that we had to make them understand, no. It is, it is not formal. We are not using the same kind of terminology in our words or sentences that we would do in a regular campaign. We needed to be a student, vo a student voice, a student sound, and a student look. Just add the aut authenticity of the vid videos. We've done a number of videos that we've sent out and uh, they're staged, you know, you write a script to them, um, but the authenticity of the students walking across campus, uh, talking about various things that are happening on campus, I think is what the alumni audience want. It has helped our retention. 
um, you know, in showing the impact of what we're doing. Uh, it has drawn people in, as, as you talked in the uh, slide presentation, the number of hits that we've gotten on our social programming and people taking a look. Uh, we are doing some acquiring, um, but, you know, not, not as strong as I yet want it to be, but I'm expecting that in year two. Um, but it has really engaged. So we ended with more dollars this year. One of the successes I would, I would say is it did give us an opportunity to switch our gears and to look into doing a program that was more on the digital uh, uh, and video portion. I think had we had the call center uh, and it was running strong, we probably would, we, we were sort of switching to texting, but I don't think we would have been really forced to start doing the video digital part. And we have received responses from people. Oh, I got your video. Thank you so much. I like, they, they liked it and they enjoyed it. We have seen our, uh, it, it has been um, an opportunity for the students to work within particular units like our colleges. And we're seeing, um, you know, dollars raised from the student get office of program. We're moving towards that direction, moving away from the call center. People aren't picking up their phones and answering a call. Um, so I think us moving towards the digital part is so important. And I, I just love, getting a video from a student and hearing directly, directly from them um, and asking them to give to their respective college or, or whatever uh, we're pro promoting at the time. But I just think it's so important now that we're moving to the digital world that these videos are getting out to our alumni. And we've been really able to personalize them, as Justin said, during UCARE. Um, and, and that just provides uh, some another stewardship piece to it as well. I'll, I'll just speak to specifically for UCARE. Um, we were able to create over 100 videos that, that led up to the day and, and really during our 32-hour giving period, um, which we call UCARE. We really took advantage of paid ads on Facebook and Instagram. And I think people that are leaning into this program that they should definitely allocate a budget for digital ads um, you know, whether it be a couple thousand dollars at least, but um, I think that's a really big piece to this is, is using those digital ads to get the videos out more. To the student piece, it really hits at the heartstrings when you get a video from them and, and when you see it. So um, it, I'm more willing to give if I see this video from a student and um, I, I'm just excited for what we have in store here, but um, like I said, just take advantage of those digital ads, um, work with your teams on, on campus to get it out, um, and it should be successful. We have not just used the student storytellers for our giving day. We have been using the student storytellers through our giving strategy for the entire year. And we will continue uh, to do that. Well, my expectation uh, for the year is uh, integrating them, like Taria said, throughout the strategy. Um, so it's engaging and warming. It may be sending out a message, you know, doing something exciting for homecoming uh, that's only three years old at our university. It, it may be incorporated into Giving Tuesday the You Care campaigns, but also our other um, holistic multi-channel pieces. So, you know, we all throughout the year, we're doing academic pieces, pieces for our colleges, but we're also going to try to teach these students how to become fundraisers, how to work within advancement. This is our pipeline um, as well.